Over a hundred million years ago, a new kind of marine reptile began patrolling the oceans of the late Jurassic. Its species survived the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs and continued to evolve. Today, these prehistoric creatures are under threat from us. And the same story plays out in every corner of the world and on the tiny island of Koh Tao in southern Thailand. Shark Bay, located on the southern end of Koh Tao, named after its resident population of reef sharks, is a hot spot for sea turtles. The high aggregation of sea turtles here and around the island is what makes Koh Tao, which means Turtle Island in English, special. Shark Bay used to be home to a thriving coral reef. However, in 1998, a severe bleaching event transformed the bay from a coral dominated area to an algal dominated area, which led to an increase in the number of turtles that frequent the bay. Kirsty Magson is a marine biologist who has been studying turtles on the island for about seven years. Historically, um, Koh Tao has been home to a number of different species of sea turtle. Uh, we get the green sea turtle, the hawksbill turtle, and very, very occasionally, we also get the olive ridley. Uh, now, based on the information that's been submitted, we do have a slightly higher population of green sea turtles, with the best location to find these guys anywhere that has high algal dominance. So places like Shark Bay. We also have um, a strong population of hawksbill sea turtles, but these guys, because of their feeding habits, feed more in a coral reef area. So we tend to find they have a much higher distribution around the island and are known to frequent more bays because of the food availability for them. Experts observed frequent social interactions between local turtles, such as chasing, nipping and feeding in pairs. This is a unique occurrence and is not seen very often in the wild. Koh Tao is not a nesting ground. The continuous development on the island, with resorts, restaurants and hotels being built every year, means that many of its beaches are unsuitable for turtle nests. Um, I believe it was around about 119 sea turtles that were identified. Um, in terms of numbers that have been around, we've seen a few of them appear um, over a course of a few years. Um, there are definitely some residents, so I think the last check within Shark Bay, there were around 15 resident sea turtles uh, that live within this bay. Now with that, they don't always remain there for the full year. Some of them kind of go off for a year, some of them go off for a couple of months and then reappear. Koh Tao's turtles face the same threats as turtles worldwide. Marine debris is one significant problem. Jellyfish are a large part of a turtle's diet. Unfortunately, plastic mags and jellyfish look similar in the eyes of a turtle. Consuming plastic can have severe implications for a turtle's health. Turtles can also entangle themselves in plastic. In more severe cases, it can cause lacerations that require a limb to be amputated. However, there is an emerging threat that is potentially even more deadly. So recently, there was a sea turtle that showed up with a large tumour or mass on uh, just behind its head. Now within sea turtles, there is a disease that's called fibropapillomatosis, and this is believed to be a strain of the herpes virus. Fibropapillomatosis is caused by a virus. This virus displays itself in cancerous tumours that appear on the turtle's soft tissue. Large tumours can hamper a turtle's vision, mobility, and the ability to dive and find food. The disease is contagious and can only be treated by surgically removing the tumors. Wachara Sakorn Wimon is a vet who works at the Thailand Department of Coastal Resources. Okay. But this, this one looks like a fibrobabiloma and only only one case in Thailand that we found, but we found another one in Koh Tao. Yeah, yeah. Last last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we still don't know because we didn't get the the turtles. 
Yeah. But if if mm. if Kirsty file or, or our uh, our old network can find this turtle, they will send this turtle to Chum Han. Kotao is a condensed study of the plight of turtles around the world. Conservation efforts are underway, but more needs to be done. Turtles are on the brink of extinction. Most sea turtle species are listed as vulnerable or endangered, with the Hawksbill sea turtle listed as critically endangered. However, you can help safeguard these eternal creatures.